Does sub for sub actually work or not? Do you often see sub for sub in your comments section? Why subscribe to someone's YouTube channel if you're not interested in their content? Inactive or disinterested subscribers don't really contribute to your channel. YouTube often removes inactive subscribers, therefore you'll see your subscribe count decrease. Herman Drost, DrostDesigns.com. Here are five reasons why sub for sub doesn't really work. Number one, they don't really care about your content. They're more interested in gaining a subscriber to their own channel than in viewing your content. Number two, they won't stay subscribed. If they don't want to be notified when you have new content for your channel, there's no reason for them to stay subscribed. Number three, they won't really watch your videos. The reason you get a small number of views to your videos when you have thousands of subscribers is because many of them are inactive or dead. Number four, YouTube removes inactive subscribers. Once in a while, YouTube removes inactive subscribers from your YouTube channel. Therefore, you might suddenly see your subscriber count go down. Number five, you won't make more money by having more inactive subscribers. You can generate money from AdSense ads based upon the cost per thousand views. Depending on the content that you produce, you may only make a few cents per thousand views. So if you're just creating videos to make money, you'll soon lose interest. Instead, choose a topic that you're passionate about. Here are four ways to gain more subscribers to your YouTube channel. Number one, only subscribe to YouTube channels that you are interested in. If you find the content interesting or valuable, by all means, subscribe to that channel. Number two, leave a valuable comment. YouTube often moves constructive comments to the top of the comment section. This means your comment will get more visibility and other commenters may want to check out your channel. Number three, find out where your target audience resides online. Visit forums, Google Plus communities, Facebook groups, and other social media properties where your audience hangs out online. Interact with them and leave a link to your video if you feel it will help them. Number four, make your videos interesting. Give viewers an incentive to keep watching your videos by helping to solve their problems or entertaining them. Make sure you include an invitation to subscribe to your channel at the end of each video. So in conclusion, sub for sub doesn't actually work. The only time it could really work is when you're interested in each other's content. That's it, I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna receive more video tutorials like this one every week, please subscribe to my channel or check out the other videos in my playlists. Click this image to download my video upload checklist. You'll learn the 10 things that you need to do before going live with your video on YouTube. Click this image to download it now or click the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching.